Hey, so I know I look disgusting, but I'm gonna use this as the intro. So, hey, I know I said I was gonna start being consistent and I kinda haven't, but so this video is gonna be a wash day video. I'm not gonna record myself washing my hair because I wash my hair in the kitchen sink, and that is a very awkward position to try to film. But I will be showing you guys my products, uh, me taking down these raggedy old twists, and just whatever else I decide to show. So, yeah. So, hi, I'm just now getting started on my hair. It is seven o'clock. What happened was I went to the gas station to get an energy drink so I could do some work, but then my friend had FaceTimed me. So, I did end up getting work done, but I just got sidetracked. So, now we will be starting with my hair. So I'm going to take down my twist. I just break them with water first so they won't break as easily because they'll be moisturized a little. Well, they'll be hydrated, I should say, when I take them down. So I'm going to get into that and the next. So I'm going to section my hair off and just start doing it one by one. So I don't know if I said this, but I've had these twists in my hair almost two weeks. I'm not sure. And... Kitty twists are my favorite style to do because they're really easy and versatile. This is how I take down twists. It will be just like how I take down my regular twist outs. So basically, you have a strand like this basically looks like a lock. You will twist it, will unravel it the other way, starting at the ends. I'll do what I just did right there and just keep going backwards and then just yeah. because I had this in for a long time, like hair would like wrap around each other so it gets really tangled really fast but you just have to be gentle and patient with it make sure you start at the very bottom though because if you don't you could get knots at the ends of your hair and that is not good because your ends are your delicate and oldest parts of your hair so always take care of your ends well take extra care of your ends Freshly washed. Um, when it's dry, it's definitely not this one. Uh -oh. Just so you know, it's like right, right here. So now that that's done, it's time to deep condition. So we're going to get into that. Okay, so I'm back. These are the products that I use to deep condition. First, I use my deep conditioner. This is the Aussie Miracle Three Minute Miracle Smooth Deep Conditioner. It's a cute little. I'm gonna link all of the products below. Next, I use um, a oil. This is my sister's. It is the Jamaican mango and lime olive oil with my lemon seed oil and manuka honey. It's a very nice oil. It smells really good. And she got this really beautiful smell for ever. Then I use a spray bottle because I like when I do the hair is super wet because it just helps the powder penetrate more and because you end up using the less powder. Now I'm going to show how I deep condition. Oh, also, I don't have it with me, but I use a comb because I 
I figure he's gonna put my hair while I condition it with the conditioner still in it, but I comb comb my hair when I do condition. So I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna show you guys a section on how I do condition. I got a couple scrunchies. This section my hair off into fours. That is my go-to. Only section my hair off into fours. Is this a twist? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your conditioners are deep conditioners because you still need to keep the moisture in your hair. Okay. Make sure you dip the water in because you definitely like the thing with water is when you spray water on your hair, you have to work everything in, not even just water, just the products and stuff. You have to work everything in because you don't just want it to sit on the outer layer because you know that's redundant. So now you get your deep conditioner. I know I don't have much in your hair, but I know I have enough to last this go around. You get it and then you just in this brush, you work it all over. I just work my way up and then down. The oil. Now I just add like a dash of it. You know, we get like probably like this much, you probably can't see it. Like that much, you don't get a lot. And then I just focus this on my ends, especially just to help with like breakage and stuff. After I work the oil in, I'm going to get my nice little five tooth comb. And then you just comb your hair starting from your ends. Once my hair is nicely combed out, I twist it up. Sometimes I braid it. The time stuff, I'm just going to twist it because twisting it is the easiest for me to do. Now that that's done, I'm going to go off camera and do the rest. I'm back. Ignore the fact that I look ridiculous right now. I'm going to show you guys how I deep condition. It is 8 o'clock. I don't know why I wash my hair this late because my hair takes a good two days to completely dry. The shirt is nice and wet. I wrung out as much water as I put it. I'm going to microwave the shirt. No, your house will not blow up if you microwave the shirt. I got this hack from my like KXD Shelby, who's a, a male natural hair YouTuber. I had to microwave the shirt for like 45 seconds. It's gonna have a little steam on it, depending on how long you uh, microwave it. So you're just gonna wrap this over your head. <laughs> my glasses. You're going to get a random plastic bag, doesn't matter. Just a plastic bag, and you're going to wrap that over your head to trap the heat in. So I like to deep condition for a good 25 to 30 minutes. So in 25 to 30 minutes, I'll be back. So if you notice the difference in quality, is because I switched from filming on my iPad to my phone. So now uh, this is what my hair looks like, completely washed and uh, clean. Looks actually really good. So now i'm going to show you guys the products that i use okay so i just switched positions of the way the camera was facing so hopefully the lighting is a little better i'm going to invest in better light don't worry so yeah so these are the products i'm going to use one two and three So I'm back in the kitchen because the lighting here is wonderful. So um, I'm going to end the video right here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and follow my uh, social media because why not? Yeah, why not?